Well, that was short and sweet. PS1 track, game number 370. Dole Q Remix Billiards Multiple. The game was released in uh, Europe. PAL release of this game was called Pool Academy. And that had a real cool saxophone intro, and it's got a uh, advertisement for the Pool and Billiards magazine. As well as the trick shot, the trick shots, and trick shot video for only six thousand yen. That's a video. You buy four simple fifteen hundred games for the cost of that trick shot billiard video. Oh, yeah. Options, collection, artistic, games. We got, uh, English menus. Makes me think this might have been, uh, PAL game first. I have collected nothing. There's nothing to look at in the collection menu. As, there, as, is, as is always the case. I'm curious about artistic. This is going to be like... Practicing pool shots and practicing weird... Yeah. Oh god, this is like even uh setting up specific types of brick shots and Okay, yeah. This one, I just hit it forward, and that's meant to happen. Okay, I press X. Look at this artist. Yeah. Curious about these, and if uh, how many tries we're gonna get. First one seems pretty well. I did something wrong. I didn't hit that those guys hard enough. And this shows just what happened. Wonder how uh Feels like I can try this as much as oh, okay. Okay, here's how you 
you know, really. R1. L1 and L2. Do this. Oh no, I almost had it. I did something weird at the end, I made the cue ball go all... Well, I'm getting no indications of game overs or anything. Oh, I know how to do this one. These are established, like, by some sort of artistic billiards federation, and these are, you know, the, the 40 main shots of artistic billiards. And all the artistic billiard guys are, like, real good at that shit. Seems like there's actually quite a bit there, and that seems kind of neat. But we gotta gotta lose to go forward, you know. That's also not the best way to, uh... Alright, we're gonna be Liz, Joe, Jung, Morgan, Surge, Sarah, or... I you gotta go with Liz. Chloe Price, looking ass. Oh wait, we're picking our opponents now? We can play Japanese nine ball rotation bowl billiard. Maybe this regular nine. Maybe this is regular eight ball here. Is this billiard and kitty wink, kiddly winks, kiddy kitty wink. Um, I don't know any of these rule sets by these names. That maybe this is regular eight ball without. Hold. Oh, uh, Nashi. Not call our shot. And this, uh, 
do do frame how many frames and frame frame oh, the camera frame oh we're going against split handicap do ourselves a one Liz is good, and she's spotting us the point. This is the part I still don't fully understand. If I just hold it all the way back and never wait, is that going to be a really, really powerful shot? Then I let go. Oh! Okay, and then it's like a meter. That's telling me my target's the one ball. It might be. I tap it again. Yeah. So the first time when I'm hitting it, you want to hold it down to start pulling it back. No. Oh. Then it'll start doing like a meter. And I gotta tap it. Whoops. I'm bad at pool. Was the turn. All right, so this appears to be a thing where we got frames, kind of like bowling, but. Turn the gear off as much of the table as you can. Your opponent got a different table, so it's going to be playing more independent of each other in this mode. Like, because she didn't sink a ball, it's going to be my turn, or she's still going to go. And she's going to try to clear this table until she makes a mistake. Not on her table. That's this mother. Oh fuck! Forgot to hold it down. I'm gonna get a foul. So I'm not gonna hit it hard enough. Unless I uh, oh no, never mind. Down. I can. I can still adjust it. Alright. So I think all you're actually changing there is the speed that you're hitting it at, and the timing doesn't really matter. I don't know if I can make other adjustments to, like...
Here goes nothing. Ah. It's like but when I used to do like two tries, you know, like two situations where I don't score and that's it. I don't think stripes and solid matter. So we each get tables of 10 balls and we get 10 frames to try to clear as many as we can. We're allowed two turns of not clearing balls until we lose the frame. And we get all 10, it's like a strike like bowling. Or like if you get all 10 on the first thing. Okay. I think I figured out. I think, yeah, so I think this should be called, like, Bowl Yards. I think is what the English name would be. You know, the pun didn't translate. Well, perfect. I think I think we figured it out. I was just misreading the Katakana. Now we get to keep playing this, uh, this pool game. Liz, not a bad spot. I hit it this thing. See you that. up a lot. Down a lot. Alright. So it appears that you can change actually both the amount you draw back the cue and the speed you strike it at. I guess it makes sense. You could have a short little jab or a big push. But I don't know what effect those have on actual cue balls. So I don't know which one to do.
have bad. Get in there, and we got other game modes to check out. In Go Q Remix Billiards Multiple. We got multiple billiards games. So this is definitely just bowling. Bowling with billiards. You got your ten pins at the fucking start, you know, and if you sink them all before you have a frame where you don't sink any of them, that's what you want. There we go. Look at that start. a lot worse. Almost got, almost got some bullshit that I wasn't trying for. I'm a fucking uh, scrub at Billiard. I need that second line that shows me where the ball I'm hitting is gonna go. soundtrack.
Oh, nothing on the break? You know what? Let's hit it all crazy and just hope that something random happens. This will hit a bunch of shit into a bunch of shit. We'll hit it as hard as we can. Hey, and look at that. Not what I was hoping for. shit is <laughs> Liz saw that happen. Oh, your face is like that. Okay, I'll take it. And I'll go back to this. Right, from this angle, it really looks. Oh, really? Just well, let's, see. let's see. It was closer to what it should have been than to what I thought it was going to be.
This looks like I'll really fucking just graze it from here. But from here, this looks better. It was not very good. It's about how I do in bowling, too. It's about what I score. I'm sad that this doesn't have uh, real billiards players giving real intros like uh, Brunswick Pro Bowling did. Wanna know, uh... What's Liz about? She claimed that my parents have heard of her like one of the bowlers in the bowling game did. You have to wait until I bet a lot of money before you reveal that you're secretly really good at it. ball wasn't there. Take it. Thank you. 
Ah. Can't get lucky three times. sink anything, but it made her cue ball continue to roll forward and hang around in that part of the table for the first part. <laughs> Liz, are you going to blank? Number two. If only there was something funny you could say after breaking two. I'm glad I didn't accidentally pick a bunch of people and have this be like a nine person game. Because as a bowl, you add as many people as you want. You're just constantly resetting the table anyway. We just would have been sitting through a lot more. I pressed start. It took a long time for it to, uh... Oh. Press a different song. We had Afro Bop for a while. We'll try switch camera. when they're right next to the hole. Pocket. Okay. 
No. If we had cleared it three times in a row. Well, we don't hear break like that every time. myself in the corner here. Alright, let's just hit this real hard and see what happens. Tenth frame, you gotta just go for it, right? Hey! That's why you do that. Run up the store, be a bad sport, it's fine. For baseball, you wouldn't even get to play this part. Liz was no good. 
absolutely there, but... Curious about the other games? How's tiddlywinks work? They're cool. Is that because I lost? What was that about? After every match. Why did I get a bonus point at the end? Why did I almost win? Why does it say that we tied? Oh yeah, so I was bowlered. I did even do the pun correct. The correct. The Japanese nine ball. But we'll do a uh, okay. Inning. One inning. One inning. No. Chadaba. Chadaba. No Mesu by. Master by. Mask by and. I don't know those things. Supoa. Score ball. Five nine. What are the score balls? Nine ball. Five nine ball. I can score on the three five seven or nine, but third just gets the nine. I hope I didn't make that a lot harder for myself. Oh. I need to go over and come closer to this back cushion. The break. That's me. I don't know how Japanese nine ball works, and I don't know what it means that I have four score balls. Let's just uh, hit the thing and see what happens. Hopefully, the game will tell us what to do. Oh well, nothing's done, so. Sturgis turn. See if he tries to think this one ball first. Ball not hit. Okay, so it is still like nine ball. Um, I don't know my pool ball colors. I hope that this too. Foul for not hitting the lowest ball or not. 
Well, I didn't get a foul. So I, changed it. I think because it was a foul, I think I could have actually moved that ball around. But, or maybe the game already did and put it in what it said was a good spot. I just fucked it up. I'm curious, is that like the path is the center of the ball? So this will still probably flip it. Yeah. I think with a three, five, seven, or nine ball being score balls, what that means is, yeah, if I just on my turn sink the three ball because that's the next ball to hit, then I'll win. He has to wait till we get to the nine. Ball. So after he sinks the four ball, which I hope he does, because I don't do. He then messes up. I have the chance to win. And I could have, yeah. Cool. If he doesn't sink the five ball here, I'll have the chance to win on my next turn. If I understand that rule correctly. I'm beginning to suspect that I do. Six ball search. The green one. There we Well, that should be hard for him to get to. Always swings it back to this view for, uh... Computer turn. I got the nine ball. By hitting the other... Well, that's clever. Now I have to get the, uh... Oh, wait, anyway, then I'm all had to come back on the table. Right. Oh, well, oof, good luck even getting to that step. Actually, I could probably carry him that way. If he doesn't, I can sink that in a win. Top spin. What are you gonna do now? You gonna jump it over? How are you with the artistic billiard surge? Oh, you're trying some fancy shit.
cool for the game. And I'm probably the most basic thing in the world. The billiard. Bucket. Ah. Now he's going to show us how to do it. rotation. And clear points, we will okay, so we only have to get 20. Now let's make it a short game all around. I don't know how to play rotation. Yeah, did she like, why did she call really the, the oh fuck, I have to do this first.
Oh. Well, I'm not going to uh, clear the pocket I thought I would. No foul. Some weird pockets to fill. She knows she's not gonna. Finish rotation mode. You can't play. And we're just gonna spend all day having to get the right ball and the right thing. Instead of anything, then I think it's not a foul, but I I the ball. Alright, so I hit start, and I think I'll get the menu after. Well, I don't know what it's gonna give me the menu actually. Okay. Well here's how you play rotate. Check out Tiddlywinks and the last of the tracks. Blue one inning. Playing to five, it looks like. Five what? What is Tiddlywinks? in the uh, context of Japanese billiards. Be my cue ball, maybe. Now I just have to think of something. ball not hit what was my ball
skew ball with the original skew ball was my ball. And then what is the next target ball? Is the one ball? It was just like regular some number of you hit the balls in an ascending order, but you ball can be whatever you want. But if the I choose the ball other than we'll try this and then assume that the Q ball is the target ball. Hitting this first gives us the error. Okay, so no error, just change player. And if you pick something, I wonder how it choose like which of the balls you can pick as the Q, as your cue ball. There he goes trying to sink the cue ball. Interesting that if you use a cue ball, a new cue ball comes back dead center. Foul. Oh, did, because the cue ball was back, was my new ball the cue ball? And this becomes kind of like snookery, and you got always the cue ball, and then a score ball, and then this ball, and then that ball. Like you don't get anything for sinking the cue ball, so why would you do it? Thank you. 
wonder if this is an emulator thing where there's supposed to be some better effect than just like the weird flashing. Or yeah, some other ball, you have to sink the cue ball first, maybe, and then you can start sinking what you want to sink. Why not? We'll see if it, like, says that I have that nine ball or if that goes back onto the table for now. Yeah, no, it, I, it says I have it. I think it just includes the cue ball as like... Oh, bullshit. We shook up the table, we scored a little bit. Morgan can get some points, help this game end. Q Remix Billiards Multiple. We're gonna finish this game, maybe. But I feel like we've seen everything there is to see here. Yeah, so... The cue ball's not back on the table yet. So he has to get this. If he does have to sink the two ball next, then I don't know what he was trying to do that for. See, that's got a foul or something. Oh no, it doesn't. goes in regular order and I don't have to hit this one in next. Although if it was that one then that would be okay. Honestly I have a lot of shots I could probably hit right now. But I'm gonna assume that it really wants me to hit this two ball. I did. Three ball, but now I have a two ball again. So that's okay. This is going in. I really thought it was. I was genuine confident. And look what it got me.
I hope this frames that guy if I got close enough to hit it. Oh, it was almost the way I wanted to, but I scratched. He has a lot more options to do balls than I do. This goes a weird one. I got no choice in the matter. Ah, it's gonna hit that purple. Wait, did that shit come back onto the table? It did. Spread the needle and score. Oh, holy shit, I did it. I didn't really thread the needle because I hit one of them, but it still went in. Okay, what's my next? Gotta be this. It doesn't matter. time you score, the cue ball's gonna come back, though. Oh, and wait, so I am just going to win after solids, I guess? Because I got that 11, and it didn't say I got it. But I just made it so he can't get it, maybe? Yeah, it seems vaguely, uh, snooker-like. Which I also don't fully understand.
That's definitely gonna stick this. Whatever I say doesn't happen. I'm gonna have a bad day to information on how thick these balls are, but not that it does me a lot of good because it's the last time I'm going to be playing this game. I just got to hear the song again. give one more turn and if neither of us sink a ball on our next thing I'm just gonna say I've beaten Morgan and we'll bring this to an end oh well Morgan gets to try to score Established rules, we weren't given this stop just then. Oh, my rules are bullshit. Most rules. Particularly self imposed ones, but when I could or shouldn't start or stop playing a video game. That's Stop being, uh, honoring. This sure is billiards. An accessible enough experience that, even though I've played a lot of them, I've been a little stymied by the enduring popularity of video games. that, Morgan has one last opportunity to gain some points for himself. A failure to do so will result in an immediate end. It is a game in the stream. We'll return tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Actually, let's see if there's uh we get anything cool happen when we say quick game? That one game ended, there was another little video. Not this. Games, artistic collection. Did we get anything in collection? We can look at In Okay. Yeah, 
this was a uh, dull Q remix billiards multiple. There's like a prequel version of this game that we'll be back to uh, one day. Thanks for watching. Game number 371 tomorrow.